Aquarius, you may be one of the few signs that experiences more peace this week, especially toward the end of the week than any of the other signs. And we're going to get into the astrology and discuss why. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Row. Thank you so much, guys, for always logging on and watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, if you're just discovering me, please remember to subscribe to the channel and then ring that notification bell <clears throat> so you know when I upload your favorite content. Aquarius content comes out every single Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. So I hope you guys can be there for it. And there's always an extended reading where we go even deeper and get more specific answers. And you can join the Unbound membership um, right here on Born Without Boundaries to Row memberships. And that will give you full access to all my extended readings. Plus, um, never seen anywhere else never posted anywhere else, um, just exclusive content, as well as the numerous members only live chats that you guys will have access to amongst the top perks. So I hope to see you there. Um, yeah, so let's let's talk first about the astrology and then we're going to go into the cards. And for me, the cards come out really like they're quantum. It's a quantum reading, meaning that everything is happening all at once. It's not really past, present, future. I don't do a Celtic cross um, because ultimately it's an energy reading and energy doesn't have a timeline. It's just how is everything impacting how you're feeling and what you're going through and how can you best use this energy? What will be your red flags, your challenges? as well as your greatest tools in your arsenal to be most productive this week. And we'll get all into that. Now, in terms of the astrology, there are some major things that are happening for you guys this week. And that is um, Mars, toward the end of this week, Mars is leaving Aquarius, finally. Um, it's been with you for a while, so it's leaving Aquarius. So you might feel a little bit like a, a drop in energy, but it's not going to be a bad thing. It's going to be a good thing because there's been a lot of contention between Mars and Saturn. And it was almost like, okay, too much energy, too much intensity. It's stressing me the fuck out. And so what's going to happen is Mars dropping into uh, Pisces is going to give you a little bit of relief. And then um, Mercury is also heading into uh, Taurus where Uranus is and Uranus is your ruling dignitary and ultimately Aquarius by the end of by the end of this week, it is going to be conjunct. Um, um, Uranus, which means there's going to be a lot of bright ideas about how to change things, a lot of bright ideas and a lot of confidence with regards to knowing and understanding and having an idea about how to make things better and how to do things in a better, more practical way, especially in some ways, a more relaxed way, because both of these energies are in Taurus, right? So ultimately there's more confidence coming back into you, um, a better understanding understanding of yourself and where you stand, which could have been tumultuous for the past like month, especially with all those conjunctions to Saturn that were happening in your sign, just basic. And, and the fact that Saturn is squaring the nodes, just a sense of like dark night of the soul, lots of tension, a feeling of having to overcompensate for things. So many things that you've been going through it's starting to wind down and ease out and you're starting to be able to use what you've learned to improve your life circumstance. Let's put it this way. You're just going to feel like the, the ground is a lot more solid beneath you. Uh, um, by the end of this week. So you're going to start feeling that release. Um, let's get into the cards, Aquarius, because I want to dig into... Okay, so now we get now we get into this. Watch your words. Um, okay. This is Gemini energy. This is the energy of people could misquote you. Um, or there's just a sense of being very tempted to be extremely manipulative or say things that you know people want to hear instead of what you actually feel in order to get things that you want. However, do you want it insincerely? Knowing that your words have power or knowing that you can manipulate and make things seem like they're better than they are or... I don't know. Let's get deeper into this. Watch your words here. This could also mean somebody is listening to you. 
very carefully and they will be more than happy to misquote you. Does this mean don't talk? No, but it does mean don't let your ambition be your microphone. Let me say that again. Don't let your ambition this week be your microphone because if it is, you could run off at the mouth or say things that you won't be proud of yourself for later. That's something to be aware of in this energy. And then we also have make your dreams real. This is feeling like somebody's manipulating you and pulling your strings. This is scorpionic energy, so it could say that there is somebody that is, is trying, that you feel is manipulating you, and ultimately, it could be, let me say this, this could be happening to you. So this is like somebody's words, is like you know somebody is messing with you, but you can't exactly pinpoint how, but you can feel it. And with all this Pluto energy, you don't have to know how. And this is the thing. Being an air sign, you want it to be logical, right? You want it to make sense. You want to be able to add it up and see the numbers all work out. You're not going to be able to do that. This is going to take a lot of faith for you right now with this energy because these cards are confirming. Somebody is being manipulative. Somebody is being sort of underhanded with how they're talking to you or what they're saying. And you could feel the tug. You can feel like, what the fuck, am I somebody's marionette? Kind of, yeah. You could feel that energy and yet ultimately you can't see the strings. So you're like, well, I must be insane. You're not insane at all. There, there is definitely... There is definitely manipulative energy here, and I want you to. Tr you're, I want you to trust your instincts. I want you to trust. Um, God, I mean, let's make sense of this for you, Aquarius. We, as you are, the person that you are right now, you're looking into the mirror at the person you are right now. Well, you're a result of hundreds of thousands of years of evolution for the human beast. This is happy birthday, Michelle Sanigate. Um, yeah, you, you are the result of hundreds of thousands of years of evolution for the human primate. <laughs> and in that DNA are automatics that go off. It's just that we have become so cozy and comfortable in our modern world that we have decided that all of those instincts don't matter. You know, we have all these things to protect us. We have all this security. We have all this information. We have all this knowledge. And sometimes the best fucking thing you can do is listen to the goosebumps or the hair that stands up on your arm. So when you're starting to get those feelings this week, I need you to listen to them. Now, how do you listen to them? Believe them. It's not about, your brain isn't going to be able to talk to these primal instincts. It's not going to be able to say, tell me what it is, articulate it to me. No, all you're going to do is have to follow the impulse. Get the fuck out of there or trust the fact that your gut has just told you something. Hey, listen, if, if my hair is standing on end, I'm getting goosebumps, I feel a chill in my spine, something's going on, I'm not comfortable, I'm not comfortable. That's all you have to know. Don't fight it and don't try to rationalize with it. You're in the presence of somebody who is not right. And it's going to hurt. I think that especially when it comes to partnerships, you're going to see this coming around the full moon later this week. Especially when it comes to partnerships, a lot of things are going to be rupturing because you've built a lot of, you've made a lot of excuses and you've built a lot of, um, you've built a lot of, um, um, you know, uh, sensical expl It's almost like you've rationalized out all the things that aren't rational, but the things that aren't rational were trying to tell you something important. And ultimately that's going to come up and what you're going to be, what you have to address and listen to, because it's going to be too big. You're going to feel like this internal quake inside of you and it may feel bad, but it's actually trying to help you. I know. I know it's, it's trying to help you because it's trying to empower you with the information that you need to make better choices and align yourself with better situations. I don't know. I, I, we're going to get deeper into this. Just bear with me right now. We have transformation is beautiful, which is um, this is all part of your growth. And because this is coming out a little bit in the past, this could just, this is a sense of, I do feel differently about things. I'm not seeing things the same way. You're not the 
same person that you used to be. So all of this is you're transforming. Now, maybe once upon a time, and this is what you're rationalizing, right, Aquarius? You're saying, you know, once upon a time, I, you know, I was fine with this. This was fine. I didn't have any problems with this in my past relationship or my past job. I don't know why I'm feeling where I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't be feeling this way. You're not the same person. You're feeling things differently. The butterfly doesn't feel what the caterpillar used to. You're at a different point in your life and that's why the same things don't work for you. But the same things are still working within you. So when you get those tingly feelings, those intuitive things, trust them even though they're not in the right places. The right places based on what you've experienced in the past, but the past is gone. It doesn't exist anymore. It's bullshit. You're not who you were. You're not in the same time. You're not in the same place. You're not in the same space that you were 10 years ago or even 10 days ago. So trying to rationalize away these feelings based on, oh, but I know it's going to be okay because I've been here before. You've never been here before. You're a different you. Okay, you've grown, you're expanded, and you've needed new things. So this is all about evolving and 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 becoming something that you weren't before. And you're starting to feel strings being pulled. And you don't like that feeling. And you're right. You're right. The cards confirm that you're right. I will try to get more articulation so that you can understand it logically. But it, there may not be logic. Bring your ideas to life. So what is this? What is this? This is acting on, this is acting on, um, um, A, this is trusting yourself. Um, and also, I guess I got this message. You're going to see things that you realized. You're going to see examples of it happening in front of you a lot. All this week, you're going to see examples in front of things that you've thought and didn't trust. That's, I guess, how I love this. This is, this is your sign. Your sign is going to be hearing things or reading books and being like, but I thought that. But, but oh my God, I, I've been talking about that for how many weeks now? You're going to see that being played out in front. You're going to start seeing your ideas or bits and pieces of your ideas played out in front of you for other people's benefit. And you're going to be like, holy shit. And that's, that's trying to poke you. It's, it's Pluto and how it's trying to poke you to start taking action on the things that maybe you're ignoring or trying to like, like push away or no, because it's going to start to irritate the crap out of you that you're not being given credit for things that you should be given credit for. Maybe because you didn't act on them fast enough. It's going to, it wants you to take action on these ideas. It wants you to trust your ideas. It wants you to trust your instincts instead of just um, finding good and intelligent sounding reasons to not, right? Like that's kind of what it is. We, we rationalize ourselves into our own hell, right? Because it's a, it's a place that's devoid of having to take any risks, but it's also devoid of being, being free and breathing in that beautiful air of independence and individuality, right? We're kind of like backing ourselves into a corner of conformity and that's not where you want to be. And ultimately that's how the universe is going to be poking you this week. It's going to be showing you all these signs and, and, and showing you other people getting credit for brilliant ideas that you've thought of. So why didn't you act on them? Why didn't you take the opportunity? It, those kind of things are going to be come, popping out at you. Um, you're going to feel, there, therefore, very manipulated. You're going to feel very much like um, um, you maybe unfair, something unfair has happened. It hasn't, it hasn't been unfair. It's just the universe trying to spur you to action and get you to trust your ideas. When are you going to start acting on your ideas this week? And I think it's because it's going to irritate you so bad you're not going to have a choice. You're going to actually have to start doing something instead of being complacent. You're going to have to actually take action. Let's continue to get into more cards. Okay. Aquarius. Uh, bring a gentle touch. Hold on. Be at home. And then life is a mystery. And both of them are coming out. You've been too nice about something. 
and it's it's all about the home space or the family space you're not as comfortable as you've pretended to be and that mask is going to come off now you're trying to be gentle about it you're trying to be kind about it um you're trying you're trying sorry this isn't my apartment this is my mother's apartment it's kind of weird um um you're trying to be you're trying to just be gentle about it you're it's almost like you, you're this little lamb this little doe right this doe-eyed little deer remember that for like my, my cousin Vinny Marissa told me um but it's like if you keep being this instead of the beast underneath you're gonna get shot at just like in Bambi it's almost like you almost feel in some ways like you are in somebody's target. I'm not saying that you are, but you're starting to feel like, wow, have I made myself too vulnerable? Now, this is also love. So it could very well be, I got to say this, Aquarius, there may be love in your life and it is love and it's beautiful love, but it's not comfortable to you. And that's revealing a lot of things that are lying in your character that are inhibiting your ability to be in love, be comfortable with love, or be happy with love. Um, be at home means that you may be away from home, moving away from home, or visiting someplace else, or you just don't feel like something's right in where you feel should feel the most comfortable. Happy birthday, Doug Denny. And then life is a mystery. The mask is coming off, especially in your home. Okay, let's get into that moon energy. Okay, the mask is coming off. Life is a mystery. What do you mean life is a mystery? Tell me more about that card, please. Okay, a new romantic cycle begins. So no, and the energy is gaining momentum. No, something has run flat. And this is, this is really pinging on romance. This is like almost like getting like the seven year itch or feeling like things have run dry or run stale. Um, they're gentle. That's the deer is Virgo energy. It's gentle. It's reliable. It's sweet, but it's also boring as hell. And so there is a discontentment there. You're starting to get this itch. The energy is gaining momentum. No, it's in reverse. Oh, this could be something like stable. This could be, it's almost like the relationship has become stabilized. And this is a place that you haven't been before. This deer energy, but what is this deer energy? Ow, I'm so uncomfortable right now. I apologize, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, bring a gentle touch. Hold on. It's almost like being uncomfortable, getting what you wanted. It was just about seeing if you could manifest something, and you can, but do you want what you manifested? That's what I'm hearing, or at least feeling. Chop wood, working really hard, and, and poised. Serendipity. Something that you've worked really hard on is going to actually happen. It's going to actually manifest. But what is it? What is it? What is manifesting? What is manifesting? For Aquarius, please. What is manifesting? What is manifesting? Are you certain? I mean, I don't know if there's some relationship in your life. Are you certain that you want to get married? Are you certain about this? This is almost like not being certain 
that you want a traditional relationship or you want to go a traditional route, but finding yourself with somebody who's just so gentle and sweet, you don't want to disappoint them. But ultimately, are you disappointing yourself? And this could be symbolic. Yes, this could be marriage. This could be relationships, but it could also be some sort of partnership. Or you're thinking in your head, am I just, am I just, am I just getting scared now? Because, oh my God, it's real. It's real. And I like the challenge when it wasn't real, but now that it's real, do I want to work with the maintenance? Do I, am I going to be okay with the maintenance? Is this even something that I'm interested in? Because it feels like now that you're reflecting on doing something traditional, there's a lot of conflict, or you may be intentionally causing the conflict because ultimately you don't want what you thought you wanted, which was something traditional. But now it's almost like, but you got yourself there. And you're not as comfortable with it as you thought you would be. So what do they do? What do they do? What action do they take? Timeless earth is here. Soulmate is here. Oh. Let me tell you something, Aquarius. There's a soulmate coming in. And that's why you're not comfortable. You can try to convince yourself as much as you want that what you, where you are is where you're supposed to be. But the truth is, you know this deep down inside. This is your reality. This is your truth. You're actually not where you are supposed to be right now. And you're not with who you're supposed to be with. I mean, some of you are, but then of course it would be a different, a work scenario. But this is definitely a sense of, you know, where you're getting those upset stomachs. You're getting the, that feeling that, oh, you're not comfortable, but what do you mean? Because I wanted this. You didn't really want it. You just wanted to see if you could create it. And ultimately, somewhere along the line, you created it with the wrong person. Let's keep digging. I got to go into tarot. I'll see you guys over there. The links are below.